Hamilton. The um, uh, registration was uh, 2680, awesome. which is about what we normally would expect. Yeah. Especially with the year where people aren't sure what their travel plans are. We had a goal that we did not want to cancel again, so we worked with the communities, we did everything that we had to with our medical staff, and we are working overtime to make sure that the runners feel safe and that we are able to hold a live event for the benefit of all runners in Southeast Wisconsin and across the country and across the world. Congratulations. You know, the, the hills were a challenge early, so I just had to tell myself to stay patient. And I, I just stayed within myself. And I think the hardest part then was probably, the, I mean, the last eight or nine, because you fought the hills, you fought the wind, and you kind of hurt. But uh, no, I think just told myself to stay patient early and just kind of stay within myself. And whatever the day was going to be, the day was going to be. It's evolved over the years. And in 1981, when they first started, it was called the Milwaukee Light Marathon. And uh, we're bringing back a lot of the old nostalgia. We have seven runners that ran in 1981 that'll be crossing our mat today. And we have uh, shirts that are replications of the shirts that were handed out in 1981. And we are so thrilled to be able to have a little bit of a flashback and know that we're gonna be going strong for another 40 years. I think the medals kind of resemble that too, don't they? medals resemble the first ones? Thank you, yes. Uh, we try to put a contemporary spin on, uh, on their medals to make sure that people love them, but the medal that is on the inside of that is a, a replication of one of the first year's medals that were handed out to runners. It's only about an inch and a half, but it's uh, something that uh, was about the size of what they would have received, and this year we're, we're very uh, happy to be able to do a uh, special. I do feel pretty good. I'm getting married in less than four weeks, so it's been kind of stressful leading up to this, but then I had my bridal shower yesterday and this today, so I'm glad this is over and now I can focus on the wedding. The biggest marathon I've done besides this was the Madison one, and also in 2019, and that was like pretty, like decent crowds, but this is just so much more, and I don't know, it's so helpful. Really? Um, and yeah, just like all of the aid stations, they were like every, I don't know, mile, mile and a half, it was amazing, so.